Hi, hello, and welcome to AutoPostingTools.com. Uh, today I want to show you how the proxy checker works. So, proxy checker is basically a new module that I develop. Uh, the software will give you many different modules. Uh, the one that we're going to be talking today is the proxy checker. Basically, this is going to allow you to check proxies from the internet. So, how this works, uh, basically you go to choose one of these lists. These are free list of proxies on the internet. So why we want to get this is because we sometimes want to scrape information and we want to do it uh, from different IPs so it doesn't seem that uh, it's, it's only our personal IP that we are using. So to do this we use proxies so we download information through these IPs instead of our own. That way we could use uh, basically download more information. Also remember that sometimes some sites block you if you log in too many times with the same IP. So now to, to make this work, so you go to the first one and then you select the, the proxy that you want to check. You copy that, you paste it there. And then uh, there's like a, a space in between you remove the space and you put like a quote there, like a column there. So basically, the 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 color uh, the column there is going to be uh, separating the, the IP and the port number. So you add it to the list, and then you go and look for another one. Most of the time, I try to do only United States because um, most of the sites are on English, but some of them might have like the option to show up in a different language. So I want them to show up on English because when it's scraping information, uh, usually like it is scraped for tags in English, so that's why. So now here I selected three emails, three three proxies. Sorry, this is just uh, for me to show you how this works. Obviously, you will continue and download more 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 proxies, but you will have a list of different proxies. And now what you do is you just click on check proxies and this is going to be either good or bad. So the the criteria to check in if it's good or bad is basically uh, if this uh, this one is going to do a request uh, for a page that the download the IP. If the request is successful and it shows the, the, the IP on the on the page, then it's a good proxy. If the request is not successful and it takes more than three seconds, then it's considered a bad proxy. And then I just put it on the bad proxy list. What you can do now is you can copy and then you can open a notepad and save them there. So, but for now, what I'm going to try to, sh to show you is that I'm going to copy this and we're going to test this proxy. So we have here this anonymous proxy, um, anonymous web browser which allows to change our proxy to to basically test this. So we put there our proxy and we click change. So the proxy has been changed. Now the only thing I had to do is I come back here, I select whoever, and then I navigate to that. Uh, now this proxy was not working for whoever, so navigate to, to what's my IP. So this is working for that. So let's just type in the IP, the, the, the CAPTCHA, D-A-C-B-9. Uh, so this is the IP that we were testing. So this IP matches with that IP. Um, the other the other page might not have worked because the other was, was a secure, secure page and some proxies are not for secure pages. So the only, the only thing that this proxy check is that if it's going to retrieve you the URL for the HTTP only, and then if it's a, 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 um, a secure page, you might have to do it uh, manually, or I'm going to include like um, a section to check for uh, for IPs with uh, secure uh, secure with secure uh, HTTPS um, secure protocol, uh, and then I'm going to put the option check for. Um, check for HTTPS or check for HTTP. That would be a new version that is going to come up if a lot of people request for it. So if you want it, uh, just let me know and I will add it for you. But meanwhile, it's just going to check if uh, if if it changes the IP and then if it if it takes more than three seconds to display this page, then it's basically uh, going to go to the bad proxies. So basically, this is how the proxy checker works, guys. So if you want to get this, you can get it on autopostingtools.com. So thank you for watching. Bye for now.